Hello from Sanibel Island, Southwest Florida. Uh, we're spending the day at the beach here, and I thought we'd give you a little uh, little insight into what we like to do here in Florida, especially when the water is getting this warm. So let's head on out and see what's going on. I think I need to switch my camera that way. Hey, what's going on out here, guys? This is the coolest little toy for the beach that I've ever seen. This is a ball that like bounces on the water. Let me show you how it works. You ready, Leah? Okay, we'll do a we'll do a little short one. Oh, sorry, we're we'll right at mommy. Bad throw. Now she's gonna get my camera wet. Oh. Anyway, when you really give it a lot of oomph and skip it like a rock, it flies really far. Okay, Leah, say hi. hi. Say hello, YouTube land. Hi. Are you having a good time? Yeah, I found a shell. Oh, wow, there's shells here? No way. Okay, they line the seashore like crazy. There's our stuff up there. So this is Sanibel. The water's burning. Okay, that's not true. The water is probably like 80, how many degrees would you say? 80, I'm gonna say 87, 88 degrees. And it's warm. I mean, there's no adjustment period. You just get in and it's go and it and get out. Yeah, I'm doing a video right now. So this is Sanibel Island and it's a pretty well-known place. And I mean, a lot of people, I was telling Jenna just the other day, I mentioned where we have a home, you know, Fort Myers, Naples area, and they're like, oh, that's by Sanibel. So there's a lot of people that have been here that really enjoy this place, and it's it's really cool because it costs like six bucks to get on the island. So they've got a little toll just to get on the island. So that helps the clientele, if you know what I mean, a little bit. Makes the clientele a little bit higher class. And it makes it so it doesn't get so packed. And it's not so packed. What's her name? Leah? Leah, we can't get the phone too wet. I don't have a waterproof case on it. So, yeah, so we like to come out here. It's probably about a 45 minute or so drive from our house. So we don't come out here every day, but we like to do it at least a few times while we're here because it's just gorgeous. The sand is nice. The water is nice. There's a ton of shells and a ton of shells. There's a ton of shells. They just lined the seashore. I'll go, I'll go show you guys a little close up. That's our stuff there. But, you know, it's a little bit of a drive, but we love it. And you can see, I mean, I'm in, you can see how far away I am from the shore. And I'm in probably uh, two feet of water. I mean, you can go way out here. And the water's just super warm. So you're just getting in and out as you please. And it's warm enough that you probably want to get in the water a little bit. Because the temperature today is probably about 90. And here it is, you know, early May. So you can imagine what it's like in July when the water's above 90 and the temperature's the same. It's not even that refreshing in July, in my opinion. You gotta stay a lot more hydrated because you just can't really get a lot of relief. We'll play more later when you're ready. So we like to come out here and float and play with this cool beach toy. Leah, do some tricks. <laughs> Leah, do some tricks. What? You can see how far we are from shore, and she's in weight, and like it's like waist deep, a little bit more than waist deep. <laughs> Leah, what's your favorite thing about the beach? Water. Water? Yeah. yeah, but we have water coming out of the faucet at home. And Oh, you like to swim. We have a pool at home, though. So why the beach? Because there's shells. There's shells? Yeah. Where else is And is it salty? Yeah. Yeah. You don't like getting it in your mouth. For those that don't know where we are, this is the Gulf of Mexico. So we're not on the Atlantic side of Florida. We're on the Gulf side. So the water is warmer, less wavy, generally. And in my opinion, and in my opinion, yeah. It's, you could, I don't know if it's showing up on the video or not, but it's a, it's pretty shallow here, so it's pretty light. 
turquoise. It's gorgeous. Jenna, what does Sanibel Island mean to you? <laughs> Let's get deep. No. What? Um, I don't know. We got engaged kind of here a little bit more north. That's right. So if you head north another couple of miles or so, you go to Captiva Island, which you can drive to. And that's where I asked Jenna if she wanted to, you know, maybe think about perhaps potentially considering spending the rest of her life with me and after careful consideration. No, of course, she said immediately because I'm a great salesman, naturally. But yeah, this is a cool place. And then we were married south on Fort Myers Beach. You can almost see, I don't know if you can see it from uh, here because I know the camera kind of pushes everything away. But along the horizon, I can see all of the uh you know uh high-rise condos and things like that so that's going to be fort myers beach along there there's a really cool resort here called south seas plantation south seas if you ever want to go to sanibel that's the place to stay yeah south seas is really on nice Captiva. on captive we've been, stayed there what probably twice i think i've stayed there incredible. and that's when jenna's dad had a boat and they would bring it over he would bring it over here and we could stay on the boat and Enjoy the water and the waves and the sun and the sand and the sea and, you know, do all the, the beachy stuff. But it's a nice little slice of heaven here, in our opinion, for sure. You can see here, it's a Friday, and it's not too crowded because it's, it's kind of late season here, which a lot of snowbirds have gone back to the north now, so, you know, like a... Yeah, and it's, yeah, and it's a weekday, but like a month or two ago, this place was absolutely packed absolutely packed because of all the snowbirds that were here waiting for their northern homes to warm up a bit the weather to warm up a bit before they headed north so we're we're, we're late season but we're heading out uh in what is it two days three days we have two or three days left here in southwest florida and then we're gonna head back to washington so all of the videos from here on out pretty much are gonna probably be from from the state of Washington. And we have gorgeous summers there. We love the summers in Washington. They're actually really nice. What's that? I'm doing it. You're doing what? I'm sitting on it while it's wobbly. <laughs> and there's little Miss Show Off. I mean, Leah. I'm gonna go up and show the YouTube land a little bit about the shells on the shore and to see how many shells there are, okay? So say bye. All right, let's go look at how many shells here. A lot of people come to Sanibel because it's like a shelling place. In fact, you can see a lady here with the bag that she's collecting shells. But uh, I'll just walk along the shore here a little bit. It's actually there's so many shells. I don't know if you can see here where you're walking. The shell's on the bottom. And it actually hurts quite a bit on your feet. Oh, because you, you step on sharp ones every once in a while. But if you like shells, this is a great place to come shelling because they literally just line the seashore. So every once in a while you find a gem. I can see a conch shell here that looks really cool. I mean, it's kind of busted up, but I mean, this is, this is a cool place to find shells, as you can see. Miles and miles and miles of white sandy beaches where you can find shells. All right, so we'll sign off for now. All right, wave, everybody. This is the end of the video. Thanks for watching, and until next time, uh, stay, stay sandy, stay sunny, stay. Maybe you guys, uh, some of you guys want to check out this place sometime. Let us know. We, are, we consider ourselves the local experts. We can tell you where to go, where not to go, et cetera, et cetera. So... All right, until next time, until the next video, take care, everybody.